The morning had been a regular morning, handled a, a bus accident with no children on board, and then the next call I got was for a man beating a woman. As I responded down there, uh, two other units were coming to assist me, and I got to a gas station on Mattatuck Boulevard and Sunrise Highway in Bayshore. When I went to the call, there was nobody fighting, and I saw two women sitting in a car by the mini market. I went to approach them, and a man came around a corner. As he came around the corner, I said to him, everything's all right, I'll be with you in a minute. Sir, I'll be with you in a minute. He cupped his hand up to his ear, and he acted as if he couldn't hear me. Sir, I'll be with you in a minute. What? Sir, I said I'd be with you in a minute. By that time, he closed the space between me and him. He kept beating on me, and he actually started pulling on my gun. I realized that if my gun came out of its holster, that I was in a fight for my life. My keepers on my belt gave, and the gun was now on my stomach. I tried to retain the weapon, and with that, the holster gave. He stood over me. He said to me, I'm going to kill you, and he pulled the trigger. I got into the mini market and I had my hand on my mace and I, called, I was on the phone. I told the uh, dispatcher again that it was a 10-1 and he had my gun. I went behind the counter, I was told, and I covered over the woman. I remember thinking to myself, kill me first. If anybody's going to die today, it's going to be for my weapon. I need to be the first. There was a barrage of gunfire, and then it went silent. I was transported to the hospital where the doctor would look for the bullet underneath my skin, and I told him, look in the vest in the back of the car that transported me, and sure enough, there was the bullet.